Lamborghinis are returning to Southwest Florida, but maybe not in the way that you think. Uh, I got some things to show you, but just before that, click the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, Camblaze with two eyes. I'm trying to get to 10k, bro. Let's do it. Follow me on there. But yeah, let's let's get into this, okay? As you may or may not know, Southwest Florida removed Lamborghinis ages ago, bro. Like, bro, it's been so long. I think it's been over a year. And you'll also know uh, that cars in Southwest Florida are being removed. In mo like in most driving games, like car brands are just being pulled out. Like Bugattis, BMW. Like, bro, you name it, it's, been it's probably going to get removed soon. And also, if you're caught up, you've been watching my videos, you'll also know that Southwest Florida is recreating car brands and making their own car brands. And that's exactly what they're doing. I was on the Southwest Florida Discord server and uh, they actually posted this car development channel. You've probably already seen this, the, uh, the Supra that they've been building. Building. But they sent this, one of the developers sent this image right here. And it got me thinking, what is this? Could this be, you know, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini? Bro, it could have been anything. Um, but then, today at 10.42 a.m. my time, um, he sent another picture right here. As we can see, it's got the South Florida logo in the bottom left. And the bottom right says Italica. Now, we've seen this logo before, uh, Velocita. We've seen this logo before in announcements. Uh, they actually sent this. Italica, Velocita. It's not just a car, it's a testament to pursue your speed. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Um, and in the bottom right it says concept brand subject to change. So it's a concept brand, but the question is, were they basing it off of something? And the, and the answer is, ladies and gentlemen, yes, okay? They were basing it off of Lamborghini. As you can see, if we look at the, the tail lights there, they look very distinct. They're very, like, yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I did some research, okay? Me and my team did some research, and we found this image right here. You'll notice the Revoluto with the, with the same green, white, and red um stripes on the bottom there this is kind of looking like it also got this one as well the lanzador kind of like a Eurus. but if i'm not mistaken i've pasted these into a little dock here if i'm not mistaken these are uh concept cars i don't know if they're real they might be real i could be wrong but look at this this is looking very similar okay very very similar as you can see it's like a lamborghini um now the headlights a bit different obviously they're not going to copy it exactly because they might get in trouble for that but what i found interesting is if you look on the back here the tail light you can actually see it's very similar to the image they sent in southwest florida very very look bro just look at them do they not look similar to you they look similar and obviously because this is a lamborghini i should know it is a real car it is a real car okay okay my bad my bad but i'm pretty sure it's being based off of this car the lamborghini Rev revoluto or something like that you can you can notice it's very similar to the images that like you can just tell but yeah this is a really nice car i've got to say and you can see in the back background there the logo the revoluto logo there it is again very similar to the image that they sent in announcements here italica velocita so yeah i have reason to believe ladies and gentlemen that the car is coming back the lamborghini is coming back but obviously it's going to be their own twist and i actually did speak to the guy in dms don't know if i meant to leak this but is what it is so i said uh, how similar is the real t is it to the real thing did you change much or just a few small things and he said like 70 percent has been changed every body panel i'll say so that's quite cool that is very cool so like everything is going to be edited a little bit don't know how much they're changing it but hopefully by a lot i asked him for some exclusive photos and he didn't send anything no he did he did he sent this yeah sent a side skirt picture, which is this right here. I don't know if we can try and compare it to like this car. Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we can see the side skirt down there. And then if we look at this, I mean, you know what? It is, look, I'm not seeing the same white, but it, it, it I'm seeing the orange. It, look, it could be the same. I could be tripping. But do you guys think this is, um, this is real? Do, do you think they are going to be uh, making Lamborghini? I could be wrong. It could be a different car brand altogether, but... I have reason to believe it's Lamborghini, everybody. So Lamborghini is... I'm going to say it's coming back. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I think it's coming back. Not confirmed, but I think it's coming back in their own way, you know? Like, they're going to make their own version of Lamborghini. Let's just go in Driving Empire real quick, and let me show you Driving Empire's edition of their own Lamborghini, and we'll try and compare it to what Southwest Florida's got going on. All right, here we go. Now, don't click off because this is Driving Empire. Like, this is... I'm literally going to show you what the Southwest Florida could be looking like like this is just a southwest florida like this is for southwest florida anyway so as we can see over here this is driving empire's take on a lamborghini now if we go into free cam and just get a bit closer it does look a little bit similar to the to the picture they've sent in um development let's look at the tail lights real quick no they don't look similar at all the tail light let me just look at like every car so they actually call it thunder in here don't know why they call it a thunder but you know yeah let's have a look so we've got a bunch of cars here let, let me just like look at them all we'll see if the, any of the tail lights tail lights look the same so that one doesn't uh we've got this one again no it doesn't look the same we've got this one also doesn't look the same but you can tell it's like a lamborghini but it's not at the same time so they can't get in trouble for this although i don't know i think they might be able to get in trouble for this from here it does look just look like a lambo 
So I, I don't know. I think what companies are going to have to start, do, or games, sorry, are going to have to start doing is just making their own design, not, not taking inspiration, because this is just too similar. They're going to get in trouble for it. Um, and that's what I'm worried about with Southwest Florida. Like this car right here, I guess this isn't too similar. I, it is though. This as well, like this is obviously a Lambo. Like they're just going to get in trouble and they're, they're idiots for it really. But yeah, you can see Driving Empire is taking the approach of remodeling their Lambos. And they've added them back. And I mean, it, it's fine, I guess, for now. Um, but that's what that's what Southern Sword is going to do. And as we see, they have got they've had it planned for for like a week now, and they've started working on it. They've got their contractors to start working on it, and I guess it is going to come to the game very soon. We'll just have to see, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you for watching this video. I know we're in Driving Empire, it's Southern Sword video. Very weird. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you think Lambo is coming back. And uh, yeah, see ya.